Stefan Conegolo, we're here at AMF, but before we get to the topic of what we're doing here today, and you've got some exciting news for us, mate. Great news, Phil. Uh, you know we're going right when we've got two microphones. It's messy for the show. It doesn't get bigger than that, Cogs. Adam, what's this Sunday? What's this Sunday? Uh, Giants versus Crows. Ah, uh, Mother's Day. Oh, wow. Mother's Day, you look very nervous at the moment. No, yeah. This is the debut on the show? Yeah, first session, so yeah, very nervous. How are you feeling? What are your thought, overall thoughts on the G1, G3 this year? Yeah, I think, um, look, I've watched it from early days, actually, so it's definitely stepped up from where, where it's come from. You're, you're a reluctant man, Toby, aren't you? Nah, I'm right. I was just mid-bowl, you know? I've got to focus on my bowling. Ken, is there a few different types of relationships that people have with their mothers? Um, there's the mummy's boy, uh, the rebel, uh, the over-mothered, and the under-mothered. What category or categories do you fit under? Oh, I know what you think. I know exactly what I think. Well, I don't think this, but apparently I'm a little bit over-mothered. Are you a mummy's boy? <laughs> nah, well, oh, maybe, yeah. I, could no, be. I don't think you're a mummy's boy. I'm a little bit messy at times, and my cooking and washing and whatnot is a little bit of an issue, but I don't think it's as big an issue as what you think. Now, Phil, you mentioned the uh, runner-up in the best of Ferris. He did thank his mother. Uh, he doesn't usually thank his mother for a lot of things. Toby, what kind of a kid are you to your mother? Mum loves me, so it doesn't matter. James, are you the type of guy that, back in the high school days, when you went to parties, you said, Mum, I don't care where you drop me off, you can drop me off at the front hallway. Are you the kind of guy that said, drop me off at the corner, Mum? You're not being seen. Yeah, definitely on the corner, or, or, or the next couple of blocks or something, yeah. Nah, I usually call the train there, because so like, then I could do whatever I wanted, so. Who's the biggest mother's boy in the team, do you think? Biggest mother's boy? I think... <laughs> no, not myself. Um, I, think, I think Sam Frost could be. Oh, I reckon Christian Jacks. Oh, Taylor Adams, his mum was up here on the weekend trying to clean up everything. And, uh, but he thinks he's rebellious towards it, but he's actually not. He's a real softy. Yeah. He's lost the plot. He can't even clean his own house. For our Mother's Day special, Simply Clever moment. Skoda. Simply Clever. Well, he was a 17-year-old access selection. That turned out to be a very wise selection. He's now a six-goal hauler. Skoda. Simply Clever. Well done, Jeremy Jezza strutting Cameron. Um, congratulations, it was a great moment for you. But do you know what I thought was stiff? I thought you were stiff. I really enjoyed your run and carry inside the fifth in that shot on goal. Obviously, it wasn't a goal, it was a behind, but I thought you were stiff, mate. Which of the boys treats their mum in a way that shouldn't, she shouldn't be treated? <laughs> Who's the one that gives their mum the hardest time? Oh, well, we know who I'm going to say. This was an issue last year. Um, I overheard Matt Buntine on the phone with his mum. And uh, I don't know if he was in a bad mood or what was going on, but um, we had to sit Matt down and we pretty much gave him a spray. Yeah, thanks for being on the show. Oh, good. I'm going to bowl. I'm going to bowl. Hey, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Giants fans, we're playing Cogs on Sunday. We're playing on Sunday against your old boys at Crowsfield, so well, hopefully everyone can get down to Skoda Stadium or watch on TV at home, and hopefully we can get a big W for the mothers. Yeah, definitely. I know everyone's a bit upset that I'm not playing, but, um, you know, Cogs, I say just come out and watch you play, mate. I'll, I'll be there with my number three, Guernsey, on uh, supporting you and supporting the boys, and let's get win number one, mate. That's it.